Okay, this is it. I'm super excited about this little bitty trip. I'm gonna go right down this little creek to the mouth of it and fish it. Because I fished it two days ago and had an absolutely amazing day waiting down. So I was like, me and another guy were talking about it and he fishes it too. And I said, I wanna put my kayak in there and go down. Well, two days later, here I am. I'm gonna try kayak down it. Couple reasons. I don't have to wade in the water, it's a little quicker. Um, also, I'm in an online tournament, so I want those fish. I'd love to get them, catch them out of a kayak for my tournament. Also, I can bring more stuff with me and I can kind of set up, maybe tie off or something and kind to uh, like approach it. And I, I really want to mess around, see what, see if I can even catch a fish again. And if they're there, see what kind of lures I can catch, how big one I can catch. Just kind of do a little exploring and kind of just kind of piquing my interest. And even, I don't even know if they'll be there again, you know, if I can catch anything. I think it'll be a fun little trip. So. I'm ready to go. Uh, we haven't even got to the sweet spot yet. This is a good one. Man, these guys and Dig! You have so much power. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Oh, I'm trying to be quiet because the water is so clear and it's real calm up here. Down towards, a little bit down close to the river where I was hoping to find them. And this is the kind of guys I want to find right here. Nice. Good smallmouth right there. Another, uh, that's a pound and a Half. He was right off this log I cast over. I'm throwing this jig. I'm, I'm gonna try to change it up a few lures. I'm gonna, I know, but the other day they were hitting lures that were on the bottom. So I'm gonna start with the jig, see if we can get some. And then we might mess around, but first, is, first off is catch fish and there's one to start with. 15 and a quarter. I'm super happy starting out with one right there. What I can't do is get dragged out there in that current. That I have to get all this. That's too strong for me to paddle back up. That's a good one. Really good one. All <laughs> these things are so strong. It's a good one. Oh my goodness. I thought they might be there. They were there. I have to switch this to my medium heavy setup. Imagine getting like a six or seven pounder. Oh, there's another one underneath it. Goodness, these guys, I forget how strong they are. Oh, that's a tank. Are you serious? Look at that. <laughs> That's a super good fish. Oh, my goodness. Oh, man. Oh, I hope that shows up good the sun right there. That is such a nice bass. Three and a half, I'd say. We might weigh it. Maybe. We got, we got, we'll weigh this one probably. 18 and a half inches long. Three pounds and it'd be five ounces. Three pounds and five ounces. 18 and a half inch. 
river smallmouth. He's taking a second there. He put up a really good fight. Oh, come here. Come on. Come on. Chunky. There we go. <laughs> That's awesome. Wow, what a start. We've been out, I've had the camera on for 31 minutes and we caught that one on the way in and then as soon as I got set up here, caught that one 18 and a half in. That's just a good fish. underneath him. Yeah. It hooked him weird. <laughs> nice. Yeah. It hooked him in the belly somehow. Oh my goodness. Check this one out. This is, this one is amazing looking. Look at the body on that one. Now he was hooked right in the belly. It was weird. I, I had a bite and I was looking over, there was a, some guys drifting by right when I caught him. So I'm not gonna count him on the tournament because I mean, I don't know. I mean, he probably bit at it, but somehow he got hooked really weird. But that is a super nice fish to catch. <laughs> Oh man, he's 17 inches, but just a big old body on him. That is just a super nice smallmouth. But there was another one they were hanging around. I think they're coming and going in pairs because I hadn't gotten a bite in about 15, 20 minutes. Oh man. <laughs> that is nice. I'm changing up a few lures, then I'll go back to the jig, and then I'll get a hit on the jig. Uh oh. Oh, oh, there's one. Oh, oh, there's a big fish. Oh, yes. Dude, this thing is fighting. There's a gar underneath me too. Oh, come on. Nice. Nice. This is just gonna always hook good. Oh, that's a toad. I threw a, uh, I decided to try something different and got a yum dinger and I got this bright colored one I found the other day. And uh, I forgot to sink it out there. Look at that. Chunky fish right there. I just sink it in there weightless, just sink it to the bottom and just barely moving it. And he just picked it up and swung it off with it. Man, look at that one. This is crazy to do it again after doing it two days ago coming back. I feel like these are bigger. I don't mean, these seem fatter. That's just a really nice two and a half pound smallmouth. Just, that is really good fish to catch. So let's, he's uh, short and stocky, but we'll put him on the board. See what he is, we'll get his picture. Close your mouth. 16 and a half, good fish. Solid, solid smallmouth. <laughs> it's probably taken me 15 to 20 minutes, maybe, in between catches. That's why I feel like they're just coming and going. And um, I'm, I'll throw a couple different lures, and I'll go back, and then about 15, 20 minutes later, boom, I'll get one. And um, I've, I've gone over there and looked over the area. It's just a deep hole with some rocks. <coughs> I think I just swallowed a bug or something. Good thing I brought me up. 
I did stop at the store. I knew I was gonna be patient out here. So I got me a brownie and to drink. Got Mountain Dew. So I'm gonna I'm gonna eat this, take a bite. The, the sun's starting to go down a little bit lower. Uh, we'll still have some daylight because it's, it's a big old hill right there. So when it goes on the other side, we'll still have some light. I, I think I can I think I could fish here and keep catching them every 15 or 20 minutes. I meant to bring an anchor. I had a thing at home and I for, I meant to grab it and I didn't grab it. I, if I could have had an anchor and just kind of sit there and make things a little bit easier, but I do like kind of moving around and I'm kind of moving over here and casting, moving over here and casting. So it's working out pretty good. All right, let's throw the yum dinger back over there. It's just sinking real slow. That's all I need to do to get his attention. It, and fish can see it. Oh. Oh! First. Or the next cast. That one hit it before it hit the bottom. Man, these guys are super strong today. Man, I didn't know if that color would work, but wow. It, uh, yeah, it's working. Whoo! <laughs> yeah. Thump it in. Hey, hey, hold on, come here. They are really liking that color. Look at the belly on that one. That guy's probably only 14 inches long. Thick one. Oh, it's That dude smoked it. I was picking it up and I saw him come hit it. Oh goodness. It's a big one. Gotta get the net on this one. Oh, the giant. Oh, it's a big one. Now let's get out of the river here. I did not think they'd be hitting that lure like that. Man, I did not think they'd be hitting that bright color yum dinger that good. They're just crushing it. And it's turned, this, this little trip turned out better than I thought. I thought I might find a few of them. Dude, these are some good fish. 17 and a half or whatever that was. He's got an eye missing. Look at his eye there, though. Maybe that's why he hit that thing extra hard. <laughs> There's another one. Oh, yes. Look at that thing run. I was just kind of relaxing here. Hadn't had a bite in 20 minutes or more. Man, this one is pulling hard. Come into the river. Oh, this may be the biggest one of the day. This is on a medium heavy setup. These are. This is what I felt like when I was fighting those peacock bass. These smallmouth are fired up, strong, strong fish. This is a beautiful one. Oh, this may be the biggest one. Ooh, that's a nice fish. Oh man. Well, I'm over here fighting off mosquitoes and bugs, trying to stick it out. Look at that, that that guy, he's only 17 and a quarter. Look at the body on it though. And just the color of it. Oh man, I can't get enough of these. This right here is just quality smallmouth when you, especially when you're, I've caught seven probably I think tonight in two, two hours and 12 minutes. That's <laughs> so nice. Uh, the wider they get, the stronger they get too. I, I don't catch those kind of fish very often. 
and two days ago I was catching good ones. I don't even think they were as big as these. Oh, I was gonna weigh that one. He was 17 and a quarter, probably pushing two and a three quarter pounds. Just a, it's a good strong fish. Man, I uh, I'm gonna stick out a little bit longer. The darker it gets, the uh, more mosquitoes come out. Well, I just broke off. I stopped and cast over there. This color is, it's a five inch Yumdinger bubblegum yellow swirl. I saw it at the store the other day. I, you know, I noticed here recently in the spring how the bright colors really been making a difference. So I picked these up and I just got a, uh, I don't even, I think it's a three aught. And you know, whatever size, up to five aught, whatever you want to use. And, and I mean, I know a lot of people do wacky rig and it works great, but I feel like this, just working it up weedless gives you more advantage and just weightless like that where you can throw it in anywhere you can dive down and twitch and sink slow and you know you're not going to get hung up and everything and i haven't had any of these fish miss it um they're all grabbing it and getting it hooked so if i'm going to fish it most of the time i'm going to fish like that and um we got a little bit of time maybe we can get one more if not it's been a great evening here Well, thanks for watching. I don't usually hit, I don't usually fish the same spot twice in a week. I like to go hit one place then hit another place. But the other day when I saw how loaded it was and I was like, I, I gotta hit it again before those fish move on or before the weather changes and they're not there. And I wanted to get it, try them on the kayak and it, it worked out great. I was able to get some really good ones and uh, be able to get to them off the kayak too, um, where I can, load up more stuff rather than wading it makes me rethink things whenever i find something like this I, i've lived within 30 45 minutes of this place the spot for six years and never knew i could you know catch fish like that you know and now i know it's it's, a, it's something where it's probably it's definitely like a spring time of the year where they're going to be but those are like those are really good quality fish that you know people go search i drive all over the place all over looking for fish that size you know just to have a day catching you know five or six like that and they were right under my nose uh it just makes you it makes you rethink a lot of things it makes you just think i need to be finding better places and re re trying new places and trying different things and finding maybe like if that one works let me try another creek that's like that or you know other similar things so that's what fish, fishing never stops. You just always going to be either, either going to keep learning and improving or you're just going to be stuck catching the same fish at the same time of the year. So push yourself out there, go out there, try new places, try different times of the year, try some new lures. That's what I'm trying. That's what I'm doing this year. And it's a uh, paying off pretty good. I never, I would have never thrown this thing right here. I would, I would never thought a smallmouth would hit that uh, lure, but it got it done today. So. Uh, I'll leave a link for the, these lures below. Uh, I got a 15% off discount code uh, for Yum Dingers and for uh, Booyah products. So the Yum Dinger was, was this and then the Booyah Jigs because uh, I'm working with them. So that also lets me uh, push myself to uh, use more of their stuff and I'm glad I did. So thanks for watching.